A lot of snow, a lot of ice on Flaming Gorge, which means more access for anglers. And today we're gonna go try and target rainbows. Yeah, we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna go after rainbows and cutthroat. And we got a bunch of people here that just wanna partake. So it should be a fun day on the ice. I, we haven't done any no recon, no recon. So we're all in this. We're all getting wet at the same time. Well, hopefully not wet, but yeah, we're all gonna go out and attempt to find some fish and hopefully we do well. Yeah, if we don't catch fish, we'll play you. Oh yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Yep, that's I'll typical. That. That's yep. typical. You need to ride out, don't you? No, no, yeah. I, I can walk. The ice at the gorge has extended into Utah. Anglers have been targeting fish through the ice as far south as Sheep Creek. We're targeting rainbows just across from Lucerne, and the conditions here? It's like seven and a half, eight. Well, they look good, but looks can be deceiving. No ice is totally safe, and we're about to experience that firsthand. So we've got 12 feet of water here. I usually, if I'm targeting rainbows, I'll go anywhere from like 10 to 20 feet. Yeah. So this is perfect. We'll spread out here. A lot of times I'll set out dead sticks or jaw jackers in shallower water, and then I'll jig in a little bit deeper water and just watch my gear. I think we got the depths. Now we just need to see if the fish are here. So the first spot, 12 to about 30 feet, and no fish. We've only been here 10 minutes. If you don't see fish, move. Ryan says he's gonna go look for, look for some more, go prospecting. Ryan and I were walking to another spot to check. He was about 20 feet in front of me when the unexpected happened. You okay? Yep. All right. Leg hurts. Yeah. Ryan hit a weak spot Sorry. in the ice no, and fell good. in. Ryan's a pretty fit dude and luckily was out before I could even grab my rope. It was a lesson for us all. We've had like anywhere from eight to 10 inches of ice all around us. And that's, that looks like it's about an inch. Will you take my ladle over there and go measure it? Yeah, yeah, here. You hold, we tie a rope around my neck? Yeah. Yeah, and then that's why like people call all the time and they're like, so is it safe to run machines on anvil or on antelope flat? I'm always no. Buyer beware, man. Yeah, because Use of stuff like that. Son of a gun. Yeah. Flaming Gorge is notorious for unsafe pressure ridges and springs that can weaken right the ice. Now, we're not sure what caused this ice to be thin, but either way, we decided to turn back. Ryan marked the location to let others know so they would stay away as well. Yeah, I think I might actually go home today and buy a suit that has flotation in it. Yeah. You want one? Yeah, I'll take two. <laughs> Well, let's go fish. Ultimately, we're back pretty close to where we started, yeah. just further in, um, in a little bit shallower water. Feels better. A little bit more fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Colored up. All colored up. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Dude, that's a rad fish. Yeah. Colors on him. Yeah. yeah. Nice male. White atomic tube. Yep. Tommy Teaser. Ollie! Job jacket went off. Come on, Ollie. There you go, buddy. Good job. Good job, is, Ollie. Is it a big one? Oh, nice. Nice yeah, Good reason. job, buddy. Heck Good. yeah, give me some knuckle. Boom. Fish. That's a big one. That's the big fish of the day right there. Predominantly, where should people look for rainbows? Uh, you know, just look along shoreline habitat. I try to like capture like areas, you know, where there's like a gentle grade, gentle slope, you know, and target depths anywhere from like 10 to 20 feet. Um, you can catch them like on the outside points. You can catch them in the back of coves. Rainbows really don't change their habitat preference a whole lot, you know, with the exception to when the water gets really warm, they'll just go deeper. But all these areas provide, well, shelter from lake trout, but also a lot of food. Well, you don't want to see them as big, but fighting good. I think he's going home. Good eater. The fishing is heating up. It's a pretty cut. Nice job. We even start to see a few other species come through the ice. That's a sweet coke, too. Oh, oh yeah. Heck yeah. There he is. There you go.
We've got one on this other line too. Double. Rainbows are, are definitely more of a seasonal preference. Double on camera. A lot of anglers do prefer uh, rainbow trout at Flaming Gorge, specifically in the spring, you know, when they're when they're spawning. We get a lot of people that come up here specifically to target rainbows. Some people through the ice as well, but yeah, Pup Lake trout are, are probably the most popular species, you know, during the, the ice covered period. I don't know what it is. Took a bunch of lines. You know, I think the beauty of ice fishing Flaming Gorge is you never know what you're going to haul through the ice. Wow. It's a Laker kind of day. Boy, he came in and just slammed it. Well, well. The rest of us are catching the fish here and there, but retired conservation officer Sean Davis is killing it. Whoa! <laughs> oh, boy! Dang! Awesome, buddy. Yeah. Wow. Good job. That's a sweet coat, dude. Holy cow! Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Good job, buddy. Like that save? Like how often he popped off and we rocked. He wasn't going back. I wonder if that's the schools we're seeing. Yeah. That's a tank. Sean's day. Yeah. You know, kokanee numbers were down last year. Ryan says that as a result of the overabundance of small lake trout preying on small kokanee. But he says low kokanee numbers could be helping the rainbow trout population. Which one? Oh, yep. Yeah. We're definitely seeing better rainbows here recently. I suspect a lot of that's because we have low kokanee abundance. So, what do we got? Oh, that was pulling some light. Whoa. One species, you know, deteriorates and the, the next one just takes off, you know, and is going to take advantage Hello. of that situation. And ultimately, you know, kokanee will rebound and the rainbow population will, will suffer a little bit as well. There he is. Rainbow, big rainbow. Yeah, nice one. I'd keep them if I weren't going to catch any more kokanee. Yeah. School's here. Yeah. Good fighters. Oh yeah, nice Derek. It is a coke, holy crap. That's crazy. It came for rainbows, dang it, what are you All doing? Right. <laughs> I'll take whatever, as long as it's sunshine and no wind. Another species anglers can catch. It's a pretty cut, nice job. Is the Bear River Cutthroat. Between the Utah and Wyoming agencies, they're stocking close to 200,000 cutthroat in the reservoir. That's the grand slam, huh? He's got it. 18 to 22 inch cutthroats are, are, are relatively common. And they're cool because they're just another, just more diversity in the fishery. They seem to be a little bit more difficult to catch than say a rainbow trout, but um, when you do get them, they're, they're impressive fish. They fight really well and, and you can catch them in a variety of habitats too. It was a big surprise. I didn't think we were gonna get kokanee today. I didn't either. But be good tonight. Rainbows, kokanee, lake trout, cutthroat, you got to love Flaming Gorge. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Yeah, we caught fish. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, rainbows, That's cutthroat, a few surprise oh, kokanee. Yeah. That's Kokanees good. are a nice surprise. Yeah. I listened to Shane and his instruction, and he got me into a nice teener. And my personal best, lake trout. That was pretty cool. I've never caught a big lake right here. Yeah, so. it's about time. You've been about wanting time. one for a while. There is a lot of opportunity up here. When you do it, come with a buddy. You know, take some precautions. Uh, this lake, and you've been up here a long time and to have something like that, and it's inevitable sometimes you're gonna have that, so. Yeah, but, I guess it was just my turn. Yeah, I mean, that's why I let you go first. <laughs> hey, I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors, reminding you out with your family, your friends. Make some memories, like a rainbow trip to the gorge outdoors. We'll see you next weekend, good night.